Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag video, a three month update for this. Um, just because my daughter is currently three months old and I find that we're carrying a lot of different things now than we did when she was a brand new newborn. Um, some are still the same obviously, like there's certain things that we're always going to need like diapers and wipes, but there's a lot of things that have changed and we've kind of, because we've had her a, long, a longer amount of time, we've kind of learn some tips and tricks of different things that we need to bring out. So I am still using my Skip Hop Duo signature bag in the French stripe print. Just in case you guys were wondering, I did do an unboxing on the Chevron print of this bag, which I will link down below. But I'm also currently doing a giveaway of the Chevron print to this bag. So if you guys want to go enter the giveaway or watch the unboxing video or both, both will be linked down below. So I absolutely love this bag. I think it was one of the best investments that we made for our daughter. I I just, I love it. I, I love it, I love it, I love it. Last time we talked diaper bags, um, I was using a little diaper clutch for on shorter trips we went out and then I was using my big diaper bag on bigger trips, I guess. Now I'm kind of using this bag every trip we go out and now my purse is mostly just for me. I no longer keep anything related to me in here just because it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little harder to try and get my stuff in Audrey's, I don't know, it's just, it's easier to have this all Audrey's and my purse be all mine rather than switching stuff back and forth if we're going without Audrey places, you know, it's easier. If you hear any noises, Audrey's like right there in her little bouncer, so that would be why, but I'll just show you guys what is in my diaper bag for my three month old. Okay, so let's get started in what's in my diaper bag. Let's start over here in this little passy pouch. This is just like a super cheap one I bought at the drugstore, um, but it works, it does the job, it's just black. I think I might upgrade to a Jujube one soon, but right now this works and does the job. Inside here we have one passy, these are the Avent Soothies, my daughter loves these. This is just the pink teddy bear one. And then we have a customized pacifier clip that's on there, kind of jimmy rigged on there. Um, and we love these Soothies and this pacifier clip because it's just so cute. She actually got this one for Christmas. Okay, so let's actually get into the actual pockets. Um, this bag has two front pockets, one medium-sized pocket here in the front, main pocket, and then the back little pouch here, which normally I only keep the diaper bag in, diaper pad in. Um, and then it also comes with two insulated bo bottle pockets on the sides, if you guys haven't seen my previous what's in my diaper bag. So let's start with the two front pockets here. So what I have in my first pocket is a mommy hook. I love this. It's an essential when I'm shopping just because you really need to be able to hook things onto the stroller. It works so, so well. I actually broke my last one though because it fell off my stroller. My stroller just toppled over. So that is why, but they're pretty easy to replace and they're pretty inexpensive as well. The next thing I have in here, which is in little pen compartment is a pen. And that's what I have in there. And that at the very bottom of this pocket, I have a little owl pacifier clip. These ones don't work too well for Audrey's pacifiers, but they're still super cute, so I had to bring it. And that's all that's in this pocket. Now let's get into the next pocket. In the next pocket, I have, whoop, there's a bit more stuff in the next pocket. In here, I have a package of Munchkin uh, pacifier and toy wipes. We absolutely love these. We go through so many of these in this house. The next thing I have is a little travel pack of Baby Gourmet um, Tasty Smooth Oatmeal. This is the oatmeal that my daughter's currently on. We usually try and do it at home just because she's so, so messy with it. But because sometimes you're out on the go, sometimes we're at a friend's house or over at Nanny and Poppy's or even out to dinner, it's good to have a pack just in case. And then I just have a little baby spoon to go with that. Next, I have a little Robert Munch book. Um, my daughter loves, loves to be read to, so she absolutely loves little storybooks, so I thought one up for the road would be good. I actually read this to her at the doctor's office the other day, um, so it's always good to have a little book or something with her for her to listen to you read to her. What else do I have in here? I have a Honest Company orange hand sanitizer spray. So, so useful. Um, what else? I have a pack of toy strap. These are so convenient. You can buy them off of Amazon for like a pack of two for like five bucks. But basically what you can do is you can t strap this on to like the stroller or her high chair or wherever. 
and it you can strap the toy on the other end so they can't lose it. It is so convenient and so great for on the go or traveling. The second last thing I have in here is one of my daughter's favorite bows that we love putting on her. She had it on the other day and she was just getting annoyed with it so I just took it off. Um, and the next thing I have in here, a nipple, a, a bottle nipple for the Simlac ready to feeds. The reason I have this is that we do have a couple of emergency ready to feeds in this bag just in case we go out and I forget to pack a bottle or forget, forget to re refill or formula container, something like that. In an emergency situation, we have extra formula if needed. It's everything in these two front pockets. Now let's move on to the bottle pockets just because they're there and we might as well open them because there's not a whole lot in them. This side I have an Avent natural bottle. These are, are what some of our favorite ones for our daughter. Um, and this one is the nine ounce. And this just has some distilled water in it in case we need to make her a bottle on the go. And then on the other side, shit. Oh, you fucking pee. And then on the other side, I have those two emergency ready to feeds I was talking about. These are two ounces each, um, and my daughter's currently on six ounces, so you're probably wondering why I don't have three, but I find that two is good enough just for an emergency situation if she's like super hungry and we have no food and we can't go home. So now I'll just go over in the back just because this is easy. All that's back here is her change pad. This is the one that came with the diaper bag. It's not my favorite. It has a little bit of squish to it, but not much, but it does its job. Sorry, I have two things in that back pocket. This is uh, called Chucks. They're basically like little disposable diaper pads. Um, this is just in case one day, like every time I use this changing pad, I try and wash it or sanitize it. So sometimes I might forget to put her normal changing pad back in here. So this is just one that's once again, an emergency situation, which I have had to use a couple of these um, just in case, cause I don't want to put her down on that dirty changing pad in public washrooms. Now let's get into this front pocket here. This is the pocket that when I first started using this bag, I used to use this as my mommy pocket. But now seeing as I'm using my purse, I don't use this as a mommy pocket anymore as much. The first thing I have in here is a bib. And this one just says mommy's girl. It's from Carter's. Um, we love Carter's bibs. They're great for teething since she's teething right now, but they're also good if we need to feed her. It's just, you need bibs. That's just an essential thing. Another thing we have in here is a burp cloth. Once again, an essential thing also from Carter's. This one is adorable. It has like little monkeys eating cupcakes. Oh, it's so cute. Now, the other things I have in here are kind of like mommy things um, that I just keep in here just in case I forget to bring my purse with me or don't want to. I have a chapstick. This is just an EOS lip balm. A phone charger. The tags to this bag. Um, a couple mommy cards. Um, I got this idea from Sarah Haley um, and it's really good if you're trying to make new friends or if you just need, I know it's super cheesy and I know it's super silly, but it's good if someone needs your phone number or email right away and you don't really have time to write it down or take out your phone or if your phone's dead, whatever, you can just give them this card and it has most of your information on it. I have just my phone number. I just have my phone number and email address, but it works out really well. The last thing I have in here is a couple of panty liners just because you don't know when you're going to need those. Okay, now let's get into the main compartment of the bag. So the first thing I have here, which is strapped onto the stroller strap, is a Diaper Genie um, portable diaper bags. These are essential for changing diapers in public. It, they're just, they're necessary. They um, have a little place where you put all of your dirty diaper and wipes and you can just store them to the trash bag with no dirty scent whatsoever. The next thing we have in here is a on-the-go bottle warmer from Prince Lionheart. We have used this th so much already. Um, what it does is you, it comes with a little compartment that you boil and then you put it back in and then when it comes time to um, feed your baby, you just click the little dot in here and it heat starts heating up and you can just put the bottle in and it heats up for you. It is amazing. Would definitely recommend this to any parents who are bottle feeding. The next thing we have in here is a little Wubbanub. This is Ella Bella. Um, that's her name that Wubbanub gave her, but that's what we call her. And this is basically an Avent Suthi with a little pink elephant stuffy attached. These are absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend these. If you're just planning on using a pacifier, they are fantastic. Um, they're absolutely amazing. They're a little on the more expensive side, but they're so worth it. They're amazing. 
Sorry, if you hear any baby noises in the background, my daughter's like sitting right next to the camera and I'm trying to rock her in her little bouncer. This is mom life for you. Um, the next thing we have in here is her little hat. It's winter right now, so she needs a hat sometimes when we go out. Her snow cover is not enough. So this one's super cute. It's from the Gap, well, Baby Gap, I guess. And it's just, it's adorable. We absolutely love it. It's too cute. The next thing we have in here is a little lovey, and this one's from Aiden and Anai. Um, we actually have the matching muslin blanket to this. Um, and this one is a little giraffe, and his name is Jeffrey. Um, Audrey absolutely loves cuddling up with him while we're on the go, so we can't go anywhere without Jeffrey. That's just how it goes. You can give her any other toy, but she will still cry, so you gotta have Jeffrey. That's, that's just how it works. Next thing we have in here is some Johnson's hand and face wipes. These are kind of self-explanatory. Babies are messy. When they eat, when they do anything, they fi somehow find ways to get stuff on their hands and face. It, you just, you need some of these. Next thing we have in here is the classic teething play rings. Um, this is so, so inexpensive and they're so fun for babies. What we normally do for our daughter, just because this is a lot for her to hold on to, we normally take the rings off separately and that's why there's only like three rings left because we've lost the rest. Good thing this toy is only like three dollars. But she just loves holding on to them and feeling the different textures and chewing on the different textures because she's teething. So I would definitely recommend this to any parents. It's a great on the go toy that you can do many different variations with. The next thing we have in here is some boogie wipes. Once again, very self-explanatory, very essential. Um, these are a great thing to wipe um, noses with if they're having a cold, which Audrey's currently in the middle of a cold. Um, so these are a lifesaver. They smell like little grapes. They smell like grapes, and they're made with natural saline. So instead of hurting her nose because you're rubbing it so much, they actually try and soothe it a bit more. So these are really, really good to have. The next thing we have in here is um, a little Munchkin travel formula dispenser for bottle fed babies. This is a great on the go item, just because you can do three lots of their formula and then add it to the distilled water on the go rather than having to bring the bottles in a cooler bag. Even though we bring her cooler bag with us most places uh, like if we're going more than an hour or two because she needs more bottles than uh, one or two but um, it's really convenient to be able to do it on the go so I would definitely recommend this um, you can put up to eight ounces of formula in each section we only have one section filled right now so I need to refill this but um, it's a very very useful product next item I have in here which is a big one is a skip hop wet dry bag sorry I know this is like super duper big but in here, I keep clean changes of clothing in the front for her. And this is in the heart sketch print, just in case anyone was wondering. So the first thing I keep in here for her is a little outfit, like a nicer outfit, I guess. And these are little kitty pants with a matching pink kitty onesie. So this is kind of like a nicer outfit in case we have a blowout or lots of drool or basically any situation with kids. Um, and then we have an extra pair of socks because just in case. And then we have some jammies just in case we're out later at night and an explosion happens or drool or whatever. Or if she goes through the first outfit, we have a backup. So this is a cheetah print um, sleeper with no feet in them even though I like the ones with feet better but this one just happens not to have feet um, this is from Carter's and then the little cat outfit is from Children's Place both of them in their own size nine months which is the size my daughter currently is benefits of doing a wet dry bag instead of doing just laying your clothes in your diaper bag um, is because once the clothes get dirty whether it be you know a blowout or a lost a drool whatever you just open up this this is waterproof on the inside. It kind of had a malfunction because I accidentally put it in the dryer. But regardless, um, you just put it in here and it's waterproof and you don't have to worry about finding a way to take it home. You just have a way right there with you. So I absolutely love this. Now the last thing in here, other than the two pockets, is an Aiden and I swaddle blanket. I love bringing this with me. There are so many different uses and this actually matches little Jeffrey. Look, look at that, isn't that adorable? But I find that these have so many different uses, whether it be a car seat cover, a stroller cover, um, a burp cloth, there's, there's so many different uses. If your baby wants to do tummy time at a friend's house, it, it, it works so well. I would definitely recommend investing in some muslin blankets. They're just, they're amazing. And you wouldn't think that they have a lot of uses after the baby's done swaddling, but they really do, because our daughter never swaddled. 
she hated swaddles, so we had to find alternate uses for things. The next thing we have in here is just two diapers. I should probably put in some more here, but our daughter doesn't go through diapers that often. She's not one of those babies that cries when she needs a diaper change or as soon as she wets her diaper. So we usually go, you know, the standard two to three hours between changes. So usually we'll only take two diapers when we go out, depending on the length of time, obviously, but she no longer follows the one diaper per hour rule with her, just because we find that we were taking so many diapers and we wouldn't be needing them. Next thing we have over here is I just have an Honest Company Wipes case because um, we do use Honest Company Wipes, so this is her wipes. And then we have an Honest Company Organic Healing Balm, which is her regular diaper cream. And there we go. That's everything. I hope you guys really enjoyed this What's in My Diaper Bag video. I know I enjoy filming them. I think I'm actually going to start doing these every three months and kind of do a series out of it just because I find that even over the last three months, what we've needed to bring for her and the things that we've brought for her has changed so much. So I can hardly imagine what's going to change between now and six months. So I think I'm going to start doing these every three months just to kind of do an update on them. If you guys would like to see a what updated what's in my purse video, make sure to comment down below as well as anything that you guys think that I should be bringing in my diaper bag or anything you guys think is a diaper bag essential. Make sure to comment down below. Once again, if you guys would like to enter my diaper bag give it, giveaway for not this exact bag but the same bag in a different print make sure to check out my video linked down below um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love what's in my diaper bag videos because I know I do <laughs> um, make sure to subscribe for future baby related videos and I will see you guys next time bye